What's up guys, Baller Brett Sports Channel back here. Um, it's sort of a travel slash sport one. Um, we're actually um, just, we're actually driving to um, LCL's var varsity um, state tournament right now in Oshkosh. So it's gonna be, a, it's, it's exciting, we're about, oh man, the GPS disappeared, but um, well, I, I think we're about 45 minutes away. And, um, I mean, I'll hit you with a few videos there if I can, but, um, here is, um, the best brewers of my lifetime. I was born in 2011, so, um, some of these people, um, you'd probably wonder why would they make it. It's just because they made a big impact on the team that I know of. So, um, here we go. Um, number 10 is Brandon Woodruff. He, you wouldn't expect him to make the list. He's just a good pitcher right now, so I thought he's going to probably make the list. Number nine is Josh Hader. Again, just a good pitcher. He sort he, he, he saved a lot of games for us. Um, otherwise, not very much luck. Mustathis, one of the reasons he made the list is because of that big hit they had in 2018 NLDS um, to to sweep the Rockies. That was a that was awesome. Um, number number seven, Lorenzo Kane. Yeah, he. This isn't really a massive impact, but it's he. Um, but he like robbed the home run to save to end their streak of losing on opening day. So that was awesome. Otherwise, he's just a pretty good player. Um, number six, Ricky Wheat. Okay, it's a little. I don't remember much about him because I was a little young when he played, but I know that he was actually pretty good. So, I just don't remember much, but that's, he's number six. Number five is Carlos Gomez. Uh, he probably scored the biggest run in my lifetime so far. Um, when he, he got a single and then he stole second and Nigel Morgan hit him home. And it's just, I can't believe that, um, I can't believe that he actually got away with doing a base in major leagues. Like, that's just insane. Um, number four, Jonathan Lutroy. Um, so, four for him. You're wondering how he made the list. He's just, uh, um, he was just a pretty good catcher. Ooh, ooh. Sign. to Oshkosh. There we go. Um, give you a little update. There we go. Um, sorry that that was weird that I showed you that, but so that I need to. Alright. Prince, number three is Prince Fielder. Okay. I don't remember much about it because I was like only one years old, but by the videos and what I've heard about him, he definitely deserves the number three spot on here. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say about him. And the two you and number two, you're probably expecting not this, not this person, but number two is actually Christian Yelich. Um, he uh, won MVP, as you know. Uh, he did some big stuff for us in 2018. So, yeah, he's number two. And the person you would expect for number one that's not Yelich, um, number one, Ryan Braun. Just overall did tons of great things when I, in my lifetime. Um, so, there's my top 10 for brewer, best brewers of my lifetime. I, uh, we're almost there. We are very excited. We'll give you updates about the game. If they win, I'll update you guys, I'll you guys in the middle of the, um, oh, yeah, it's not there, right there. Whoops. I'll update you guys in the middle of, in between, um, the first and second game. If they win, I'll tell you. Otherwise, I'll get you guys on the drive back telling you if they won or lost. Try to do a video like, like during the game. Who knows if it happens. Like and subscribe. Be a baller. Baller Brett out.